short video is to review two programs that uh, you basically want to use them every two to four weeks. Uh, they'll help keep your computer clean and check for malware or spyware. The first one I'd like to show you is called CCleaner and it's this icon with the red C. So if I double click on CCleaner it opens. There's absolutely no settings that you need to change. Those have already been adjusted if I've installed them for you. So you don't have to go through and check mark anything. Uh, basically this program uh, when it's run is going to go through and check for any temporary files uh, including temporary internet files and it's going to throw them away. Over time, over the course of several weeks or several months, a lot of these files can build up and use quite a bit of space. Once you open the program, you simply need to come down and click Run Cleaner, and the software will go through and it'll check temporary internet files. As you can see, it's checking and it's going through temporary internet files right now. And I actually have not used this in quite a while. As you can see uh, from the list, CCleaner program cleaned up a huge amount of files. Obviously, I have not run this program within a couple of months at least, but it actually has cleaned out 6,881 megabytes, which is nearly 7 gigabytes of just temporary internet files and cache files and the trash can and any other application uh, temporary files that are no longer needed. Really that's all there is to it. Uh, once you're done you close the program. So just as a, a quick one two three step review you open the program click run cleaner and after it is complete you close it and that's all there is to it. Now the second program is called Malware Bytes, and that's this icon in the upper right hand corner. So if I double click this, uh, it's going to open. Occasionally on some computers, when you double click the icon, a warning pops up, a security warning asking if you trust this software or not. If that happens, just click yes and the program will load just as what's seen here. Once the program opens, uh, it's important to go to the update tab so it's the third tab in and once you're in here click check for updates uh, I just recently updated this so there are not any updates needed right now on this computer if an update had been necessary it would automatically run through download and install the update after you've updated the software come back to the scanner tab and click the the middle here the perform full scan so click that button and click scan and it pops up and asks you which drives do you want to scan the most important drive is going to be your first drive the main hard drive the C drive so if other ones are check marked you're welcome to do that that just means that uh, the scan will take longer than usual. Uh, as it is, this scan could take anywhere from a half an hour to several hours depending on how many files you have on your computer. In this case, I'm just going to scan the C drive. So once this pops up, the drives are checkmarked or the drive is checkmarked that I want to scan. I come down and I click the scan button. At this point, it's a waiting game. You just have to walk away from the computer and let it run and go through this scan. Well, Malware Bytes just finished scanning and it immediately opens a, a report. You can just close this report and looking back at, at the screen here it says the scan completed successfully, no malicious items were detected and we can click OK. As you can see, this scan that I just did took nearly two hours to do, so you really have to be patient when you're, when you're using this software. If something had been detected, it would show up here, and there would be instructions on how to get rid of it, and, and it's usually pretty simple. 
there's a button and it gives instructions and it'll it'll say you have to select and it'll show you a list of what was found if it was malicious you have to select the items and click there'll be a button down here to click in order to to clean the system and after that it's always a good idea to restart so just as a very quick review opening malware bytes uh, you may get a prompt just click yes accept it uh, a security prompt and once malware bytes opens you want to go to update click check for updates and update the database go back to scanner select perform full scan and then click scan and that's all there is to it. I'm going to click exit here. So that about concludes uh, the instructions for using CCleaner and Malware Bytes.